Good afternoon. My name is Audrey Cabanel, and I'm a student at the International School of Geneva. The empty chair on this panel is dedicated to Nargis Mohammadi, a mother of two children who is a physicist, engineer, journalist, human rights activist, and currently a political prisoner in Iran's notorious Avin prison. She was arrested and punished numerous times for her human rights activism. In May 2015, she was arrested and later sentenced to 16 years in, a, in prison for campaigning against the death penalty in Iran. Her husband, Taghi Romani, who addressed the Geneva summit in 2016, is also a human rights activist. He served 14 years of prison sentences and left Iran with the two children in 2012. Nargis stayed behind to continue her human rights work. Ms. Mohammadi's efforts to maintain a career in the sciences while speaking out about human rights abuses were unsuccessful. In 2009, she was dismissed from her position with an engineering company. The same year, she was arrested and incarcerated. Ms. Mohammadi served as spokesperson and vice president of the Defenders of Human Rights Center, an organization founded in 2001 by Nobel Peace Laureate Shirin Abadi and closed by the government in 2008. There are serious concerns about her deteriorating health. On a typical day, Ms. Mohammadi is required to take between 11 to 14 different pills to tackle her various ailments. In a letter in 2016, she wrote, the pain and suffering in Veen prison is beyond tolerance. Contrary to other prisons in Iran, there is no access to telephone in Veen prison but it is a solitary confinement which is beyond any kind of acceptable imprisonment. Political prisoners who are considered dangerous terrorists are held in solitary confinement indefinitely. Detention in solitary confinement can vary from a day up to several years. The solitary confinement is used to get forced and false confessions out of the defendants. These false and fake confessions are used against the defendants during the trials. Many of the detainees in the solitary confinement are suffering from mental and physical health problems, and the injuries will remain with them for the rest of their life. In another letter in 2017, Ms. Mohammadi wrote, at this moment, I would rather be a prisoner with, sorry, with free will than being superficially free outside of prison. I could be a woman who accepts not having human rights and stays quiet in the face of coercion and domination, she said. But I prefer being a female dissident, even if it means going to prison. Today, we pledge never to forget Nargis Mohammadi. Thank you.